We have the comet right here. It seems like it's in the in the Corona Borealis, the crown, but right on the border, <laughs> in the constellation, the serpent, this right here, on the northern fringe of the constellation. Taking a quick look, coma, di coma diameter is 292,000 kilometers. Follow Ray right here. Visit him, give him a thumbs up, show him some love. Okay, let's get into this. 2022 E3 ETF. They're expecting it to get, to, according to this, they're saying the, the max, the maximum brightness will be 7.27 magnitude. And this is the closest point it'll reach, it'll reach Earth between the orbit of Mars and Earth. Check out, it hasn't been updated in a while. November 26th, look at the images. The last one here was October 22nd. Fantastic picture from Michael, like always. Every comet that I've covered for the last well, 30 years have their own personality, their own their own message, and people fear them. They, they look at them like a harbinger of doom, menace of the universe, messengers of the gods, omens of disaster. Checking Space Weather Gallery, the last image of this comet was in November 23rd from Norway. As of today, no, the last solution date was done on the 30th of November, roughly a week ago, and there we had a total of 3,060 observation. This is Leonard, which got a lot of attention. One days got 2,400 and 20 observations so the comet that came real close to earth and put a light show got less observation Just to give you an idea an observation uh, comet Haley which uh, has a total of 57,852 days has 7,428 observations Ison had 6,682 observations 784 days observed Ellen uh, had 2,235 observations. The comet is right near the corona, which has a lot of history from the ancient. It tells a lot of history from the ancients, stories, myth, mythology. It's fascinating, fascinating read. This was back updated on November 26th, close to a 5. This is the new updated on the 30th of November, right here. It's minimum orbit intersection distance, closest it might get. February 2nd, they got it at 0 0.84 AUs. So a recap, 26,400,000 miles from Earth. I think this comet's going to be brighter than originally estimated as a 6. The other side, Sky, has it at 7. I think this thing is going to probably get into the 4, just my opinion. Until next time.